questions now. All right. Christy. <laughs> oh. Go watch some of these other games then. What did you think about the way your um, two defensive Where's ends? Christy. Oh, there you go. The, the way your two defensive ends played and, and like – Specifically, Garrett and how he kind of he did a little bit of everything today. He's done a little bit of everything the last few weeks. It's been tough on him. Uh, the last two weeks, he's seen, <laughs> you know, people chipping him. I mean, there was times in the last couple of weeks you saw in Arkansas three guys blocking him, and that could be frustrating, you know, to not get the numbers and do that. But when he gets loose, last week against Arkansas causes a fumble. This week, he gets there, creates a fumble. Um, Deshaun Hall made some big plays, get some negative yardage plays, so. Yeah, those guys are, are um, creating, um, you know, some some real negative yardage plays and turnovers. I thought uh, um, it's easy to get frustrated if you're him, and and uh, he's. I think that's where he is growing. Uh, last year, he made he got frustrated and he showed it. Um, this year, he's he's growing up, um, you know, mentally and and hangs in there and, and keeps going. And I think. The ability to have uh, our other guys, you know, the big deal has been uh, the rotation to get Quaylen Cunningham and Jared Johnson on the field so he's not playing 50, 60, 70 snaps a game. And so he can be fresh and we're rolling those guys, and I think that shows up late in the game as it has the last two weeks. Other questions? In the back, Daryl. <clears throat> <clears throat> I know when you, you looked at your schedule uh, back in July or whenever you looked at it and you said, man, I would love to be 5-0. and I'd love to go into an off week. I'd love to have the extra time to get rid of Alabama. And you can now go check, 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 check. I mean, you, you survived the first five games. Did I say that? You no, think I'm, I, just, you, I'm just you, reading, your, <laughs> I'm reading your mind and thinking that's – Well, you're, you're a mind reader now too, huh? No, it uh, – you know, for us right now, I think, uh, you know, there are a lot of things we can improve on. And I've said it a couple times, and, and you know, but to to get to where we are right now, um, playing the quality of, of opponents that we've played, um, you know, it's and getting to a bye week, I think it was important, and and um, you know, physically, uh, we're going to be able to get some people back. You know, uh, we lost Ricky tonight, Ricky Seals Jones for for part of the game. Jeremy Tobio didn't play. Speedy didn't play. Tara Lockett didn't play. Um, you know, when we got some things that that, that uh, we can get, we can definitely improve. And so, you know, the bye week's about getting our, our, our energy back, getting uh, healing up physically, but also mentally. You know, I think, um, you know, that's the part that's underrated is, is the the mental aspect, the pressure that's on these guys all the time uh, to perform uh, emotionally. So take a deep breath, um, regroup, um, and you know, coaches will give us a chance to recruit a little bit. Um, but uh, certainly getting, trying to get a bunch of those guys back um, it, it w will help us. And to win a game without you know, those, those guys who have who've been major contributors to, you know, to this program is even better. That's why you know, tonight's a good win. Go to the left. Go ahead. Right here, Coach. Um, Ricky Seals-Jones gets ejected in the second quarter for targeting. Um, could you talk about how the team kind of just, you know, moved on to the next play and just kind of continued to execute the game plan at a high level? Well, it was uh, a great job by, um, you know, our offensive staff, but, you know, Aaron Moorhead and, and, and Jake because, you know, Ricky is an integral part of what we're doing and uh, the ability – uh, to, to move guys around like Christian. Um, you saw Sabian Holmes in there for a while. Um, some guys that, uh, you know, in situations like that, because we didn't, we didn't have Speedy or, or Jeremy to buy him. So really it was more than that. It was, boy, we went from, you know, a regular rotation of guys. Now when Ricky's out, you know, we're down three guys, not just one. So, um, you know, to, to go ahead and play the rest of the game and not, number one, have – Misalignments, um, not uh, you know times like that you get caught with ten people on the field, or, or, or things like that. You know the substitutions went great. The kids handled it, the staff handled it, um, and and those guys came in and played. We didn't miss a beat from a, a formation and operation standpoint. That's the first part. So yeah, to to your point, yeah, the, those guys reacted well. The staff did a good job, but the, those guys that came in 
in, in that role, um, um, uh, operationally did a great job. Go to the back, Connor, and then Daryl. Hey, Coach, uh, what were your impressions of, uh, of Kyle's play tonight, especially in the first half? He, he was pretty on fire in that first half. He came out uh, um, and, and has been playing well. You know, he picked up where he left off last week. I thought he uh, got a little antsy in the, in the second half towards the end, pressed a little bit. But, you know, all that being said, you know, what, what was he? 25-41, um, 322 uh, yards and two touchdowns. And we dropped two touchdowns. So um, hit both guys right in the numbers. So, you know, uh, yeah, I, from that standpoint, you, you got to say he, he operated well any time that – um, you throw it 41 times and you get 86 plays and we don't have a turnover. Uh, everybody who touched the ball did a nice job. And, you know, we, we'd like to have those other two touchdowns, you bet. But, uh, you know, that's what I'm saying. I think we can play better. And uh, that's, that's going to be our challenge going forward because, you know, we're going we're gonna to face some teams that uh, they're going to challenge us from, uh, just like we've been challenged. But uh, if we can just get a little bit better uh, every week, you know, we, we, we got a real chance. We'll go Daryl Bruffett and then Christy over here on the right. Coach, it just sounds odd to say that you had a receiver that got kicked out of a game for targeting. Doesn't it? It does. All right, I'll follow that up by saying <laughs> that I, I know I, that I, – I can't really comment on that. I, I, got, I got you. Coach Moorhead and you guys always preach to your receivers, hey, you guys are going to be more than guys that catch the football. You also have to block. So right. what does that say about the mentality – of your receiving unit with the way that I guess Ricky went out there and blocked. Well, you, you heard me say last week, you know, everybody's said, where's Ricky? I said, Rick, Ricky, in the last couple of weeks, has played very, very well. Um, he's been physical. He's blocked like crazy. He's doing a great job. I was happy to see him. You know, we, we got him involved early uh, with, with uh, getting, him, getting him the football and getting him in the end zone. Uh, but, you know, that's the way he's played. And uh, it's just too bad that that, that, that – you know, that happened tonight. But uh, I've been really, really pleased with how he's approached the other part of the game, playing without the football. And, and uh, I don't, you know, I don't look for this to set him back at all. Over to the right, Christy. Um, how, how big was it for your team to force those two turnovers um, in the second half to stop them from scoring? It was big. You know, we've, we've talked about a turnover margin. And, uh, you know, the last two weeks were plus two in, in each game in the SEC uh, opponent, you know, and then, you know, if we can if we can maintain that level, you know, then then you know it it, uh, it certainly helps. You know, the win the turnover battle. We've won the last two games that way. Um, we didn't necessarily uh, convert, you know, get points off of it, but we did flip the field. You know, the, the the punch out by Donovan Wilson, who's playing great right now. You know, the ball goes down inside the ten. We do move it back out to the fifty, punt it, and knock it down inside the five. You know, so we we gave them another long field. And um, and deterred a, a potential score down in the red zone. So those turnovers were big. You know, we didn't get really get points off of them uh, necessarily, but we did move the ball, flip the field, and, and uh, give them long fields, which I think you know, that 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 always helps. Go to the back, Connor. <clears throat> hey, Coach. Uh, you know, what were your overall impressions? I guess of the you know the defense and what they did against Prescott. You know, very talented guy. Well, you know, he's uh, – I'm just <laughs> – you guys know how I feel about Dak Prescott. You know, I'm just happy I probably don't have to see him anymore. You know, every, every year uh, you yell tackle him and guys just bounce off of him. And, and uh, you know, we sat on the, on, on the headset. We got down there and at the fives, you know, he's going to run it. We all knew he was going to run it. We still couldn't stop him. So he's done that against everybody. Uh, he, he's a, just a, uh, a, a, great, a great player. And, uh, you know, what a heck of a competitor. I thought, uh, you know, would he have 18 rushes for 110 yards? We got a couple uh, lost Sacks, yardage yeah. plays for him, you know, so, you know, so he got 96. Um, you know, he's uh, – but we did limit really the explosive. We gave up one big run, you know, that whole night. So, you know, you, you go through it and you look at it and say, hey, you know, we, we, uh, we gave up some yards, but we, we you know, we, we gave up 17 points. Um, so, you know, from from my standpoint, you know, we we we're improving. We improved defensively from this year to from last year to this year, and and um, you know, we'd like to get to full strength and, and and get a little bit better. Go to the right here, Christy. 
Um, Ricky Seals Jones uh, retweeted a video of him of the play that he he got ejected for during the game. Do you have any rules about players tweeting during the game, and what do you think of him doing that? You know, I didn't know that, so uh, we'll we'll address that later. Yeah. Yeah, we're not supposed to do that, but he was out. No, we we haven't had that. <laughs> do you know what I mean? And that, that, that hasn't happened. So we'll, we'll address that. Zach? Coach, just your feelings about the atmosphere tonight. It seemed like it was a little bit more uh, raucous, I guess, than it has been earlier on in the season. But I was in the press box, so maybe you thought different. No, it was great. It had a, over 104,000. Um, you know, it was loud down there. We, you know, it had a lot to do with that, the illegal motion penalty late in the game. Um, how about those lights? That was cool, huh? <laughs> yeah, I'm surprised you guys did that. I didn't know anything about that, Jason. That said, I just looked up. It was like stars up there. That was, that was neat. I kind of like that. So whose idea was that? Anybody? <laughs> but it just kind of caught me off guard. But, it's, it, uh, um, but it was neat. It was like looking up like, wow, this is what a great atmosphere. You know, that, just when you think you can top the towel waving, we went to like a – like a Star Wars deal. Yeah, it was <laughs> I mean, just caught me off guard. Sorry about that. We'll go it, was, it was neat. I mean, 104,000 people being loud, you know, into the game. Uh, you know, you look around and, you know, start the fourth quarter and, and uh, you know, the, the whole place swaying. It just, it was, it's really, really a neat atmosphere. And, you know, now that the whole, the, the whole situation is complete, you, you can really, really feel it on the field. It's loud. Um, I think our, it's a great experience for our guys and a great experience for the fans. It's, a, it's the best stadium in college football. We'll wrap it up here on the left. Um, last week against Arkansas, I feel like the rushing attack wasn't as potent as it usually is. I th today, if you look at it, Trey Carson goes you know, 26 for 110 and a touchdown. Uh, James White comes back into the backfield. Christian Kirk <coughs> begins to take snaps, direct snaps out of the backfield. You could you just talk about the diversified rushing attack and – your stable of backs that you have, maybe even including Kirk. Yeah, we, you know, I think our offensive staff has done a, a really nice job of of trying to be creative um, in our running game. You know, with the, the addition of of some tight ends, some H back sets, some inline tight end uh, with Jordan Davis playing. Um, you know, some unbalanced lines, uh, Wildcat. Uh, tonight with with Christian Kirk, you know it's not rocket science. He's one of our better players. Let's just snap it to him, and uh, eliminate the middle guy. So, you know, it's, I know that's there's probably a better explanation than that, but I, this makes sense to me. But we've we've uh, you know our, Dave Christensen and, and, and Jake have done a, a nice job every week of really tweaking things, showing some different formations, um, and and having to be that way because uh, you know Trey has really been the the lone back. Um, we get we get uh, we got James back, but you know he he twisted an ankle tonight, so he's just having a bad luck kind of year. But uh, like I said, for a lot of those guys, you know, this week, including Trey carrying the ball that many times, taking those kind of hits, this bye week comes at a good time for a lot of people on our team. All right, coach, thank you. All right, thanks, guys.